both of us, we had to place a certain number of apartments to make the thing financially viable, number one. And because of the, the regulations about, uh, can we go back to the first uh, slide? Uh, the first model. The first, the model. The first yeah, the, the model. Um, because what, keep going, yeah. What wasn't clear is that we couldn't do this configuration because the, number one, the height over here Did next to the, the street, <coughs> yeah, the height uh, next to the street was too much, so we had to move the blocks back. These blocks were too tight, so the whole idea of taking a perimeter uh, we couldn't fit the, the, this with the amount of blocks that we needed. And um, the same thing happens over here. Uh, we were too tight uh, over here. And it was not that we wanted to get this curvilinear form, but the form came out of the fact that we couldn't get the number of units that we wanted by just making a perimeter block. Uh, we could have gotten the height and, and the the number of units. So the form is a result of, of, of two things. One, the, the need for the number of units uh, financially, and two, the kind of zoning regulations that were in place. So we came up with this. It's not a design form. It's a, it's a resultant form. And that's really important. Uh, I really don't like curved buildings. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, um, got a curved building. Uh, is it fun to see? Yeah, sure. But it's it, one you should understand it's not designed. What is designed with, in, uh, importantly, is the, tri the tripartite uh, idea of the vertical surface, which we felt was something uh, from, uh, from Milano that was very important. It was always a tripartite relationship, which had a stone and solid base. It had a a a, a, a middle, uh, which is both the piano nobile and the two two floors here. And then we had a third level, which is the uh, zone of the urban villas with uh, steel, the steel structure showing, so that. We paid homage to uh, uh, the typical Milan uh, strategy, and we also paid homage to uh, Giuseppe Taragni, who built here. And uh, so there was, uh, there's, a, there's a play between the base, the middle, and the top, which I think were, were very important. And the whole idea of having the top framed out so that we could have urban villas uh, either duplex or triplex uh, with pools, uh, etc. That was part of what we provided, rather than filling the whole thing in. And the last point, which I think is important that uh, Lorenzo mentioned, was uh, the fact that the idea that there was a front and the back, and the relationship of the steel to the, to the surface was very important. That in the front, the steel came forward, and in the back, the steel uh, penetrated inside, so that there was a different shadowing, a different uh, feeling of the surface uh, from the front to the back, so that you always knew that the, the, this was one side, and the other side wasn't the same, even though the curved form uh, would let you believe that, um, yeah, uh, that the same in the front and the back. It isn't. And the back always there was the framing elements are pushed in, uh, uh, revealing the, the, the surface. And in the other side, it's the frame elements are pushed out, uh, and the surface elements are, are behind. Uh, those small things, to me, were very important in uh, the modulation of the facade from the front to the back. Also, trying to work out in this uh, complex form uh, the apartments and the, the, the way the windows would work and the modulation of the windows because it's not a, just an A, B, A, B, A, B. 
it's, uh, it has a very uh, uh, interesting and complex modulation all the way around. That is, if you flatten the building out, uh, the, the windows do have a modulation that repeats itself, but it's not a symmetrical modulation. So basically, when it's not flat and uh, you see it moving, uh, there's a certain sense of, 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 of dynamic quality within the bands themselves um, in the facade. Um, uh, I think that you can't make too much, uh, theoretically, uh, of uh, a, a condominium uh, block. You, you, you just, you know, there's a certain limit to what you can do architecturally uh, to meet a budget, to meet uh, the, the kinds of units that were demanded. Um, and uh, I, I think it's a, I would argue, a very modest uh, work uh, that uh, gives a certain kind of energy to uh, the, the Piazza Erba uh, a block. Um, and uh, I think, um, not much else, I, I, can, I mean, you, you said it all, well, but thanks for letting us do it.